Lazy Lime of Life. And today we're doing another Great British Bake Off um, challenge. And today we're making the Arlettes um, from season three, episode two, Biscuits. Um, it took me a while to find these because when they say it with the accent, I thought they were saying Arlettes, which is like, I was thinking O-U-L-E-T-T-E-S, but um, which is A-R-L-E-T-T-E-S, Arlettes or Arlettes if you're British. Um, um, I even looked for Owlettes because I thought, well, maybe they think they look like owls. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we are working with our scale and some flowers and uh, two different kinds of flowers um, and uh, a lot of butter. A lot of butter um, and it makes eight arlettes eight cookies eight biscuits so yeah so let's get started so our arlette recipe is in three parts we have a dough layer a butter layer and then the sugar layer and we're gonna learn about book folds and laminating or whatever it's called because uh, I have never done that so Let's have fun. So when I said we were gonna work with a couple of different flours, um, one is, it says plain flour and strong bread flour. And so I had to try to look up and see what that equivalent was. So I just decided to use all purpose flour instead of self rising, uh, cause I figured that was plain flour and uh, organic bread flour, which it does in the Paul Hollywood recipe say strong bread flour. So I'm using, So I have to put in 60 grams of the strong white bread flour plus extra for two. Done. Put all the flours, butter, uh, flour, salt, butter, and water into a bowl and gently mix to an even dough with your fingers. You can mix with your fingers, but I'm just going to start it off here with the spoon just to make sure. Get everything incorporated. Wow, that's really not a lot of dough, is it? And it does say to use the strong uh, white bread bread flour for dusting. So there we go. And we're kneading for about five minutes. It's such a paltry little bit of dough. Okay, so I've been kneading this for five minutes and it's a nice uh, dough here. And it says to um, shape the dough into a square, wrap it in cling film and chill for one hour or freeze for 20 or 30 minutes. So next we have our butter layer, which consists of 125 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. And we need 25 grams of each flour. So I'm gonna do this by very minute quantities. Okay, and that went right to 50. So we're done with that. And we're just going to get our mixer in there. First, I'm just gonna knock down that wadge of butter that was caught in my whisk, whatever those things are called, beaters. Okay. Uh, cream them together, sandwich between two sheets of plain film and roll out to a rectangle the same width as the square of dough, but twice as long. And we're just going to roll it out to twice the length. So the first stage of our Arlettes are done. We have the dough chilling in the freezer and we have the butter in the refrigerator. The Here is our butter, nice and chilled. So we're going to take that out. I don't think that's wide enough. You know what, no, we're just gonna work it out. So it says to turn this out onto a lightly floured surface. Oh, it's already cracking. Whoops. Come on, butter. I 
Okay, that's a hot mess already. Just to get him a better layer here. Oh, you know what? Let's give it a roll. That's better. Chilled square of dough. Plop that right in the center. Okay, that's a hot mess. Okay, that's not going to put fault at all. You know what? You're just sort of going to squoosh there. And we're just going to work it out. It says place the dough on a lightly fire and shorten its energy, fold in a rectangle, keeping the edges as even as possible. Fold the top quarter down and the bottom quarter up so they meet. Then fold the dough in half along the center line. And we're gonna smoosh all of our dough here. We're going to pop this in the freezer. You're not going to beat me, Arlet. So this is the beginning of our book fold. And we're just going to freeze that and then roll it out. So I'm rolling out my dough. This is the second roll out. And I'm trying to get it, you know, nice length so I can get a good uh, book fold going. And neatening up the edges and peeling off the plastic and using the plastic to fold down the book fold, which makes it a lot easier. I don't know why they didn't put that in the instructions. Um, it's still crumbly, buttery, crumbly mess, but we got a little book out of it. So here is my second rollout, or I think my third, sorry, my third rollout. And I'm getting a rectangle and I'm uh, going to make another book fold. You can see the light in the dark in the dough. Um, the lighter bits are the butter. So, so far still going okay uh, because I can see the splotches where um, the butter has not been fully incorporated into the dough. So that means it's laminating. So we're making a book fold and back into the freezer, wrapped in plastic it goes. I'm adding my two teaspoons of cinnamon to my 50 grams of sugar. And we're just gonna mix that up. So this is my final dough. Yeah. So, oh, at least I know I got a nice chill on this one. <laughs> not falling apart like the others so hopefully I've got good lamination going I can definitely see that there are um, butter layers and I'm still seeing bits of butter and bits of dough so hopefully that bodes well from the future cinnamon sugar And I'm just going to use all of it here. And I did notice that Flora kind of pressed her cinnamon sugar into her dough. So I'm going to do that just to make sure I get it nicely in there. And she did come in second for the technical, so... I feel okay following her. And then it says, um, make another book turn to incorporate the sugar. So there's our first page of the book, our second page of the book. Really, I think that's too much cinnamon sugar, but okay, I'm following the recipe. And there's our book. Roll out the pastry to one centimeter thick to a rectangle. Now I get some measurements. 12 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Okay, 
using powdered sugar uh, for my dusting surface, I just measure out and cut the slices of my olives into eight equal pieces. Four. Oh, that one's good. You see that one? That one's got a nice swirl to it. See, it's exactly what I was afraid of happening. We're losing the swirl. Okay, so I'm using the powdered sugar to roll out my omelet, and I find that if I roll it a little bit at a time, not so much pressure and change directions, I'm much more successful. Here are our omelets ready to go in. So this, we bake those for five minutes, then we flip them and bake them for another three to four. Good. But let's see. The problem with my arlettes is that I didn't get the lamination. I did get the swirl, but I didn't get the lamination. So they're not really all that flaky. And you can see the ones that I took just out of the oven here that are on the rack cooling. There's no lamination. There should be layers. You should be able to see the layers of where the butter melted out and sort of made it nice and airy. But they are delicious. So, uh, I don't know, that's a lot of work for eight cookies.